Welcome to tutorials in hand.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to print numbers from 10 to 1 using while loop. So in previous video tutorial, we have seen how to print the same number using for loop. So let's check how we can write in the while loop. So first thing is to print the numbers from 10 to 1, we need to initialize the starting point. Our starting point is going to be 10 because we are going to start from 10, right? So this is from where we will start that is 10 and we will go up to 1 and we have to use while loop. So we have to check in while the condition that is while start is greater than is equals to 1 because we want to go up to 1. So from 10 till this start is having a value which is greater than or is equals to 1 till then we will allow it to enter inside the while loop and then do the task that is required to be done and what is the task the task is to print the number which is the value that is stored in this start so in the first iteration it will be 10 right so we have to print the number start so in the very first iteration it will print 10 then we will have to do what we have to decrease the value so that in next iteration the value of start becomes 9 so to decrease this what we can do is after after we have printed let's decrease this by saying start minus minus so that in the next iteration the value of this star decreases by 1 so let's first execute this one and see what is the output we are getting so see we are getting the output 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 why so let's understand the logic so in the very first iteration what is happening is first you have initialized the value of start as 10 so when while checks the condition that start is greater than is equals to 1 or not so it will check that okay 10 is greater than or is equals to 1 so it will find that 10 is greater than 1 and it will be allowed to enter within the while loop and first thing we are doing is we are printing the value that is contained in the start so start is initially having the value 10 so it prints it over here and then the next line is executed where 10 minus minus is done that means the value becomes 9 and it will come in effect in the very next iteration so now the value of start becomes 9 so 9 greater than is equals to 1 will be checked where 9 is greater than 1 so this condition also turns out to be true and you are allowed to enter inside the while loop and thus you print the number first and 9 is getting printed over here and after that in the next line you are saying 9 minus minus and this again comes in effect in the very next iteration so now 9 minus minus gives you 8 so now you have a start value as 8 8 greater than is equals to 1 will be compared it will again turn out to be true because 8 is greater than 1 and it will again enter inside this and it will print the value of 8 and thus you are seeing this 8 getting printed over here and then you are doing start minus minus that means 8 minus minus and in the next iteration the value of start becomes 7 and it will keep on doing this until the condition that means the value of start reaches 1 and you will keep on printing these things I leave it to you to check the logic and see whether these are getting printed or not and once you reach 1 so what will happen 1 greater than is equals to 1 will be compared so what will happen 1 is not greater than 1 but 1 is equals to 1 so the condition turns out to be true because we have two condition either it should be greater or it should be equals so 1 is equals to 1 will turn out to be true and that is why you will be allowed to enter inside while and thus you will print the value of start that is 1 and 1 is printed over here after that 1 minus minus is done that means the value of start becomes 0 and in the very next iteration the value of start becomes 0 and when 0 greater than is equals to 1 is compared both the condition turns out to be false because 0 is neither greater than 1 and 0 is nor is equals to 1 so the condition turns out to be false as a result we will not enter inside the while loop and we will not print anything and our task completes because the condition fails after the value turns out to be 0 
and we are not going to print anything which is less than 1 because the condition will not allow you to enter inside and thus anything which is written within this will not get printed right so in that case since you have seen one more thing right when you are doing start minus minus the value that start minus minus is giving comes in effect in the next iteration so in that case instead of doing start minus minus if you want you can remove this line and you can do it at this place itself and it will also work in the same manner means you can write start minus minus over here also and if you execute you will see the same value getting printed because the impact of start minus minus is same because what is happening when you are doing start minus minus what will happen the value that is contained in the start that means when you are doing this 10 greater than equals to 1 in the first iteration it turns out to be true you come inside you see that it is printing the value of start minus minus so what happens when you have start minus minus the current value which is possessed by the variable is printed and this minus minus value comes in effect when in the next iteration so that is why when you are entering with the value 10 then 10 is getting printed and the decremented value will be taken care in the very next iteration that means here when you print the value of start minus minus it will print the original value value that is in a start and thus it prints 10 and then do minus minus that means after it prints 10 then minus minus is 10 and then the value becomes 9 and 9 comes in effect in the next iteration and in the next iteration 9 greater than is equals to 1 will be compared and again it will turn out to be true and we, when you enter inside you first print 9 and then after printing 9 you are then doing this minus minus so after you have printed 9 then you are saying 9 minus minus that means it becomes 8 and it will come in effect in the next iteration. So you can write in any way whichever you are comfortable with but you should understand both the way so that if you see these kind of program written anywhere you should be able to understand what is happening. So start minus minus can also be written and it will give you the same result. But if you do minus minus start then what will happen? Then the decremented value will be printed not the original value. So if you run this one you will see that it will not print from 10 to 1 it will print from 9 to 0. See it will print from 9 to 0. Why? Because when you do minus minus start then what will happen? In the first iteration the value of start will be 10. 10 greater than is equals to 1 is compared. It will turn out to be true. When it enters inside what it will do? It will first decrement the value. That means it will do 10 minus minus. That means the value will become 9 and thus it will print 9. The value becomes 9. So it will decrement first and then print and once it is printed the value of start now becomes 9 for the next iteration as well. So if we do not start from 10 here it starts from 9 and similarly it is the case with the last one also if you keep on iterating till 0 then what is happening when this condition turns out to be 1 what will happen 1 greater than is equals to 1 will turn out to be true because 1 is equals to 1 will be true and when you enter inside what it will do it will decrement the value first that means 1 minus minus will be done and as a result 0 becomes the value of start and that is what is getting printed over here so you get from 9 to 1 so this is what you should know means in first thing was very simple that you wanted to print from 10 to 1 it was really simple now you also have got to understand the value of this minus minus before the variable and after the variable so in our program what we need we need minus minus after the variable so start minus minus is what we need because we needed to print from 10 to 1 so you run it and you will get the output that you need and after this if you want to increase or decrease the limit so suppose you want to start from 100 and then you need to go till 95 so change the condition till 95 now it will print from starting point that is 100 till the condition reaches 95 so till 95 it will allow you to enter inside this and print the value so if you now execute this you will print from 100 to 95 now i would request you to check the iteration each iteration in this case and see whether you are understanding how these values are getting printed or not so the program is very simple hope you have been able to understand this one if you have really liked this and enjoyed 
this video tutorial don't forget to subscribe our channel so that you keep getting the updates on the new videos that we create and keep learning keep exploring we will meet you in the next video tutorial thank you